Now to the war in Ukraine. The number of people who have fled Ukraine has now reached 1.5 million. And today, new attempts at a ceasefire in two Ukrainian cities in an effort to evacuate more desperate residents. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the United Nations with the latest. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Cindy. On a Zoom call with U.S. lawmakers Saturday, President Zelensky pleaded for more military aid, air support, as well as sanctions, telling congressional leaders, don't let them exterminate us. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is growing deadlier and more indiscriminate. In Mariupol, parents clutch the lifeless body of their 18-month-old son, killed in Russian shelling. Heavy fighting has raged for days here, where another father sobbed over his 16-year-old son inside the same hospital packed with hundreds of injured civilians. NATO believes Russia is trying to bombard Ukrainian cities into submission. In the face of impossible odds, Ukraine's resolve has shocked the world. <laughs> Stunning video captures the moment Ukrainian forces shot down three Russian attack aircraft, a small but symbolic victory. Close to 1.5 million Ukrainians have fled the country as the war continues into its second week. Thousands navigated their way across a bombed out bridge on the outskirts of Kyiv, destroyed by Russian munitions. Others refused to flee from the fight. This young mother is hiding inside a bomb shelter in Kyiv. I just want you guys to know that we are here. We, Ukrainian people, we are civilians and we stay here on our native land and we have our Ukrainian army that protects us and we need help. We need no fly zone here for Putin not to kill us all. There are reports that the U.S. is working with Poland to possibly supply fighter jets to Ukraine, but President Zelensky says more is needed. He and his top advisors are begging the West and NATO to stop buying Russian oil and implement a no-fly zone. Blood is on your hands, Zelensky said. From this day, all the people who die, die because of you. Just today we shot down three Russian attack aircrafts which were bombing our cities. If we lose the skies, there will be much, much more blood on the ground. As for the no-fly zone, Putin says Russia will consider any country that imposes one to be directly participating in a military conflict. We are live from the United Nations. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.